Garcia wakes. A cold sweat clings to her. She gathers her thoughts. Aged wood creaks, echoing amongst the silent house. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and mother of Rhea, a being of comfort. The seer sought answers. But the goddess's voice was not heard. of something dark, something hungry. The old seer's bones begin to feel the weight of their age as she climbs. She can only think, has it begun again? His mission would be a simple one. Investigate Rhea Dana's greatest shrine. His mother delivers unto him a fresh divinity shower. His brother, a newly sharpened sword. His wife, a kiss, and from his youngest, a hug full of reason to return in one piece. Okay, use soul, character ability, assign skill point, consume potions, movement, and I didn't read the rest of that. Well, I guess I don't need to know how to play. Hmm. Okay, WASD to move. But what, what what if controller? Okay, there we go. Here, can I just tutorial screen? There we go. Oh, well, this is much more readable. Okay, consume potions left and right. Skill points are up and down. Movement. Evade is X. Square and right stick is attack. Circles interact. Triangle special attack. Divine Relic. Toggle Divine Relic. Pause menu. Alright. God, this game looks pretty. I, s I assume this is a checkpoint. Not like an elevator that I have to stand on. Okay. I get the feeling this guy dies horribly. God, this is a pretty game. It's a weird, like, Rhea, kind of... A land lost between pages. A place... Unimaginable beauty. I love this style. It's a messier pixel art style than I've seen. You know, it reminds me of Rimworld. Not Rimworld. Rain World. Sorry. Our World. One of them. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Rain World. Which is actually, like, it's very pretty. It, it, they kind of went with a painted feel, but it's all pixel art. Which is cool. You know, subtitles in-game. Let's see if I can turn them on. Subtitles. True? False. True or false? Supposedly it's true. I don't really know. There's no save. Objectives? Okay. I don't actually know if this is a roguelike. I assume it's not a roguelike. It's more of like a story-based game. It appeared first as sludge given life. Small, slithering, and vile creatures. 
Now, it looks like I've got kind of like a shield meter. Oh, this is pretty. I'm just looking at the UI. I'm just looking at the everything. Now, it doesn't look like I have a special attack or anything either. Oh, it is a roguelike, just with more narrative than most. Awesome! The idea of a narrative roguelike is cool for me. Assuming I can beat the narrative. What was the last narrative roguelike I played? Not many of them. Usually they're kind of unbeatable. I guess kind of sort of hammer watch. The sludge take a new form, bickered amongst itself. Press A to evade. That's pretty obvious. Oh, they're kind of dodgy little shits too. I wonder if I don't take much damage or if my shields just withstand like the first like hit or two from these guys. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing like a direct health bar from this. Unfortunately, after the second swing, my... Oh, no, I am taking damage there. It's just not immediately obvious, but there's health pickups. Okay, that's good. Let's see, I think they're... Yeah, Darkest Dungeon, kind of. The red meter is dodge cooldown. No, the red meter is definitely health. I don't know what the blue meter is. Yet. Might be like magic for special abilities and stuff. Ah, uh, I keep messing up the uh, the attack and other... Uh, the attack and dodge buttons. Okay. I probably didn't need that. Okay, so it's... Yeah, it's mana and stamina. Or mana and health. I don't see a stamina bar. I assume I just can't change... Oh! Stamina, stamina is the, uh, the little red... Chevron below me. Oh, there's a bunch of like dead wildlife around here. Poor creature. Its insides lay scattered, torn apart. It's weird. I'm only hearing the goat noises from the uh, left side. I consider Story's Path of Destiny as a roguelike. Nope. Before him, one. Now more dangerous than before. A roguelike has to have kind of like a, a basic... Not premise of uh, starting anew every run. Um, Story's Path of Destinies was kind of more of just a choose-your-own-adventure kind of thing. Runes alter an ability in a unique way, but also have durability and need to be fixed or replaced with new ones. Press B to equip. This rune consumes stamina to empower drawn sword attack. His sword grew heavier, deadlier. Now, who's the narrator? Because it sounds like, uh... It sounds like the same narrator for, uh... A wall. An impasse. A battle secured. It, I mean, it sounds like they w were trying to go for the... <sighs> I keep pressing A to... I keep pressing A to get in there, and I know it's wrong. Um, it sounds like he, they were going for the Darkest Dungeon guy, but I don't think it's the Darkest Dungeon guy. That That's just what they were aiming for. <sighs> These guys actively surround you. Yeah, but why are all their, their death noises only coming from the left? Uh, the, they make, like, weird goat death noises. Bleats ish. The blue is stamina. Oh, you're right. For my sword swings, then. Sort of. Beat interact. Vanished by light itself, the shard now held, dark, cold, in need of life. Okay. Yeah, this is the PAX demo, but I might actually have access to, uh... I'm just gonna sit here swinging. 
It's a choke point. They can't get to me. <laughs> oh, shit. He finally got to me. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I might actually have a code to unlock the rest of the game. I don't know how much, how deep the PAX demo is. So I'll have to check that along the way. God, this is pretty, though. There we go. Yeah, this... This is nice looking. I want to see more games Problem. do this kind of art, sky, art style. Threat, albeit further out than usual. That block would have been kind of helpful earlier. Gorgeous, but dangerous. These were a land of love found, of love lost. Nice looking finds a dead goat. Hey, I don't have standards. If it's a pretty dead goat, it's a pretty dead goat. And that was a pretty dead goat. Before him, a sacred ground to be left untouched in days past. Well, my sword. Oh, my sword. Heavenly sword. A divine descending sword to eliminate enemies. I assume that's probably why. Nope. Nope, that's shield. This? So it is! Looks like it's got quite the cooldown to it, but, I mean, it just wrecked like a whole... whole bunch of enemies. Okay. So, R1, they have a cooldown, they're available after the cooldown's passed. Yep, pretty simple. Oh, my artifact popped off. Before the protector stood not beasts feeding, but consuming, corrupting, and distorting, creating even more hungry husks from the destruction of another. Divine descendants from the skies, eradicating all that is wicked. Okay, so I want to just scoot around, take care of the little guys before I work on the big ones. Unfortunately, it looks like I have to go for the big guy first because the other guys keep spawning. Oh shit, do not take damage from the big guy. He, uh, kicks ass. Okay, I got health for days. I, do I break this? Nope. Do I avoid things? I'm not entirely sure if the enemies are infinite or not. Okay, they weren't infinite. There was just a number. His shield felt heavier than normal. John gathered his thoughts, unsure of how he would explain what he had given witness to. The family listened in disbelief. The forest animals butchered. The shrine desecrated. The groan of her chair broke the heavy silence. It was time to reveal their burden, their birthright that was the corruption the gods are silenced, only a set of mortal hands to cleanse the fallen darkness. The sanctuary, with just enough power to reach the caves of Anai Dyer. Goddess and mother of beasts. Okay, so we have door, which is probably select character. 
Okay, so select to start the game. Workshop. Uncle Ben can use ancient cores to mend and upgrade various facilities around the house to help the family grow stronger. Training grounds. Through physical exertion and mental will, the... Sorry, creaky chair. The Bergsons can improve their attributes upon these training grounds. Oh, okay. This seems like a roguelike that I want to play. Uh, a lot of. So, a couple of things about this game. One, it is multiplayer. I will be playing solo tonight. However, uh, the developers are open to me uh, getting a couple more copies so I can show off the multiplayer. Uh, so, I'm probably going to play uh, multiplayer. Uh, let's see. I will have to ask them about it. Uh, I can do local co-op now, but I'd have to grab a shell. And I... Actually, she might be kind of okay and interested in this game. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but at the very least, I bet I could rope Keith into this. Okay, so we can pick characters. We have John or Lucy. So John was the one we were playing. John, alongside Mary, has raised his family with guardianship of Mount Morda in mind. He oversees their training, supporting them and become in becoming as capable as their chosen field as possible. With the Ancestral Shield and his trusty sword, John acts with, as the head of the family. Calm and collected, his quick actions derive from prudent thought as the protector of a, of a family of guardians. So we're probably just going to go with this. It does have a story. Shell might like this. Uh, she might. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my beautiful assistant with me. So I am going to play as the little girl, and you can play as the dad. What? <laughs> uh, no, I, I will play as the dad man, and you can play as the little girl. There are five more characters that we got to unlock somehow. I don't know do how I to do that. Do I press start? Do I think I just press start. I, it, hopefully it'll be okay. So uh, this is a isometric hack and slash game, uh, cooperative. Uh oh. I'm the dad. Oh no. <laughs> Back to town, return home. We got nothing. <laughs> Unfortunately, the character select leaves a little bit to be desired. I'm oh. surprised there wasn't an opening cutscene. There was. No fear of water. Oh. Yeah, your music is on. It's because a random indie game was playing its trailer. So every, every time you go back it uh, shows you some detail about the characters. So I'm playing as him and select her. Yeah, I think you have her selected. Uh... I think you're the orange. Just press A. Well, that means you have the girl selected. No. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> they don't really distinguish who is who. Well, we'll just keep trying this. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, no, Okay, we're good. so you might want to mess with your character a little bit. Each character apparently plays differently. So there is actually a prologue, which I just played. I played like 17 minutes of prologue. Oh, what was the prologue? Uh, effectively, old lady walks outside of her house, prays to the god. God's like, nope, not answering. She's like, ah, crap, the demons are back. So she sends out John, the guy I'm playing as, to go check if the demons are back. And lo and behold, the demons are back. And John's just like, hey guys, the demons are back. And this and girl they're... loves water, but she's a fire mage? Yeah. Uh, so John comes back home and it's like, guys, the demons are back. And everybody's like, well, guess it's time to go kill demons. And that's what we're doing. And for some reason, the dad and the youngest daughter are the two starting characters to work with. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, okay so uh, I should probably... So we have undead. Yeah, so it's X to attack, A to dodge. We oh. do get some health pickups, but I don't know how much. Oh, okay, so that's dodging. Huh. Now, do I have to aim this, or she seems to automatically yeah, aim? Yeah, I, I assume you've got a pretty and what's strong auto that? aim. It's like a totem. It's like a gravity thing. I can't break it. It seems to just pull yeah. us in. It doesn't hurt you, I'll though, right? I'll just walk right? past it. Yeah, I think it's more of just kind of an inconvenience than anything else. Can you break these? Yeah, I assume so. Uh, we're here to get resources and fight maybe bosses. So Y doesn't do anything? Uh, not and yet. And B doesn't do anything? Yeah, so oh. uh, we have abilities that we will unlock and find as we run through. Need soul. Need a soul. Well. Doctor, come back. I need your soul for things. There's an urn that needs opening. Papa requires your soul? Hey. 
Do you do you dare defy, father? Just like get really creepy with it. And I've loved up. Wait, nope. What's that in the wall? I it don't looks know. like circuitry. Yeah, so uh there's a tree outside. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, uh Whoa. Outside the initial Was it a drip drop? Maybe. There's also a bat. That I see it is dead. can't attack. It it almost feels like you're more accurate with um mailing. Okay. Because all I can do is hold that. fireballs. I mean, you seem perfectly accurate with them. It's just maybe the I'm not occasional. even aiming. It's sad. I mean, could be worse. Okay, so <laughs> hitting that thing makes it explode. Don't stand next to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh, is it a hand? I think it's like a weird flower thing. It blew up in my face earlier. All right. So we have well, the you know dead. Hiya! Yeah, 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 she is very excitable about the whole... Oh, oh, but she couldn't aim there. Pyromania thing. This is going to be much easier oh. with the second person. Gold? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can spend golden resources and stuff to upgrade our uh, our house. So, is it a grandmother, a bunch of children, and then the father, or how? Yeah, how I'm does not. It work? I'm not entirely sure who she's. She's the grandmother, but who she's the direct mother of? Haven't figured that out yet. But there's John, the character I'm playing as, his brother, and then their kids, and there might be some more because his wife is pregnant. Ah. Uh. What's that? Obvious is locked. Ah, it needs spider. to be unlocked through the Tree of Wreck. So I guess we gotta go to the YMCA to What's figure out this? how to unlock it. I don't know. Uh, it's somebody. Uh, go up and press B. But probably don't... Oh, not while these yeah. are attacking. Shadow beings. Oh, shoot. There's like a... Here, see if you can fight them off. I gotta kill this guy. He hurts. Oh, I'm dying. Well, you got him. No, watch out oh, for the spikes. spikes. Okay, those guys get a little bit more dangerous. Uh, well, you pressed B. I don't know what happened. Oh, well, nothing happened. Is it a person? Did we get their soul? Maybe. Okay, yeah, just stay away. I'm going to be a little bit greedy for health pickups because you don't need to get close. Uh, also, oh. you are less injured than I am. Is that a goblin bowman? Uh, yes. Yes, there are goblins and then there are goo creatures. I think the goo creatures are decidedly more dangerous. This looks scary. Let's now, did back we, up for a second. Did we collect a soul from that person? The deceased? Uh, I'm almost wondering. I think souls are that menu. Wait, we can pass through this yeah, barrier? This is a this is a power-up room. So I got Heavenly Sword. Oh. It's my uh, super AoE move. Is it a ward that only keeps out monsters, but humans no, can pass it through it? No, it wrecks. Oh, that. Yes, yes. That keeps out monsters. Sorry. I thought you were asking about the sword. The sword just wrecks things. Money. Well, critter. Oh, got another one of these guys. Yeah, so uh, press A to dodge, by the way. Yep. We have limited, that. sort of limited health. So the best strategy for you is to kind of hit and run. You can grab that. Mm -hmm. Oh, health pickups count for both of us. Holy crap, that's nice. That it is. Um, That way we don't have to fight over things. I don't think we... Oh, I don't we can't think, squeeze yeah. through that. <laughs> well, let's go check out what the uh, weird red diamond room is. Uh-oh. Can we just dodge through this? You can just run straight through it. I didn't even notice until you said, uh-oh, and then I paused and I'm like, oh, no. Ooh. Uh, you know cavern? what? This might actually be... A boss room? I was going to say the way down. Let's uh, let's go back and explore. There are three floors. What happened to the door? The one that you couldn't pass without the... Or the urn, I should say. Uh, that's soul. back over this direction. I still think soul is that like yellow thing over on my side of the UI. Whoa. Whoa. Hi. Oh. Doggy. Oh no, a little puppy. They killed its mother or its mother is dying. Love. Truly a divine emotion. Even in these dark days. Love motivated this mother. But Let's it was swords monsters. that saved the cup. Boop. There's a lot of them. Can we get the puppy? Do we get a battle puppy? Aww. Love compels the cub to wake her from this now eternal slumber. And it will be love 
that welcomes this new orphan into the Bergsons. You have achieved Wolf Pop. Level up! So, the pup's gonna go back to the house? Yeah. I Maybe maybe that unlocks the next character. You know, one of the characters is a Beastmaster. I'm gonna see if I can go into the options for a second. Nope. I was really hoping I could turn up the uh, the narration because it is very quiet. Yeah, that it is. The music is loud already. But... I might I might shoot the developers a uh, email and be like, please add a voice like a, a voice meter because. Uh, oh, is that a trap or is that a mushroom? I think that's just a mushroom. Yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. This is cool. I like it. So they're they're Bergsons. Yes, we are the Bergsons. I am well, Berg Dad. Uh... You are Berg Daughter. Don't take too much damage. Yeah, I know. I'm evading them. At least trying to. Try uh, pressing left bumper, by the way. Uh, nothing. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. What did you do? I stepped in goo. And when you died, I died, even though I had Yeah, so we... Uh, so one of us dies, we go back to town. Uh. To house. Although in the sanctuary of the Bergson's house, the young cub is far from safety. Exhaustion racks the animal's body, its chest heaving for only the smallest of breath. Grandma Margaret, turning to a worried John, believes she can remedy the situation with some plants from the nearby caves. Yeah, it does look to be poison because of the purple. Okay, can we upgrade this? Yes, we can. Training grounds, level one. Okay, so select the desired attribute from the left panel. Requires common resource, so money. Uh, required common resource in the right panel. Okay, so... So we can get... Oh, okay, so these are things that we can get. So we have the training grounds, which needs seven to upgrade. Alchemic bench... Uh, potions. Well, it seems to be free. No. Or zero or it's level zero. It's zero out of three. Yeah, it's oh. level zero. And Tree of Rhea. Purify various... Uh, purif uh, access, purify, and upgrade various obelisks found in the travels. Okay, so where are the training grounds? Ah, here we are. Okay, so, uh, it looks like... It looks like all the characters are upgraded as a... As, as a, a unit. group. Yeah. Everything seems to be as a unit here. Yep, so crit chance. Is that one girl a violinist? Damage health. Possibly, yes. We'll have to see. Uh, let's go damage, probably. Just hit enemies harder. Okay. And we're out of common resource, but that's fine. Okay, start the game. Local co-op. Start. Hopefully we're set up, otherwise we can always go back and... Things. Upgrade the EXP multiplier. Uh, it's a good point. Yeah, that way. Dang it. Uh huh. Okay, so if if dad is pink, then dad is bad. In other words, I'm red and you're yellow. Yes. Every once in a while, Grandma Margaret gathers the family together to set stories of yore. Huddled together, the crackling of the fire, a perfect ambiance, the family happily listened to tales of her youth, of people long past, and of the mysteries that still surround Morta. Oh, we also apparently have skill points that we can spend somewhere. I think we have to do that elsewhere here. Oh yeah, there is a gold multiplier. And an EXP multiplier, the girl but it's very the small. The bedroom seems to be talking to herself. Mother, Mother seems, seems so weak, weak as of late. Yeah. Okay. So do you always get new stories? Yeah. When you come back, even yeah, if you haven't like accomplished it. anything new. Okay, so this looks right this time around. Yeah, maybe. I think this is correct. Okay, so we'll have to mess with skill points. Yes. Okay. Give me a second. Suddenly my nose is ultra stuffy. Whoop. Don't die. Sorry. There'll be bats in these caves. 
And goblins and okay, spiders. You're, you're safe now. You may scratch freely. Or did you? I don't think I can scratch freely per se. I'm gonna blow myself it's up. It's more like I need to blow my nose. Oh. Well. Uh now you're probably safe. I guess we could actually Here. I'll just pause. You were paused. Blow your nose. <laughs> Sorry. Poor button. And we're good. Awesome. Noses have been blown. Hot chocolate has been purloined. <laughs> but you like really watery hot chocolate. Well, so I don't use milk for my as the base for my hot chocolate. Oh, like I am you a, do. I'm a milk or bust when it comes to hot chocolate. Oh crap! Look oh, at all these so dudes. those spider webs actually do slow you. Yep. Which means I can't move anywhere. Please shoot these guys so I can actually. Can I damage fighting. you or ow, no? Ow, ow, ow. I'm something certain me. I think I got poisoned. Ah, uh, well, spiders would have venom. Yeah, so levels don't reset. Yep, levels don't reset. Uh, so this is a roguelike game with uh, tons of progression systems. Um. Uh, so we spend money to get upgrades. We spend re weird raw resources to get uh, to get house upgrades and stuff like that. That's a soul. Yeah, that it is. Looks uh, like a flame. Our characters level up. We get tr talent and trait points. Uh, we've got to grab all the money. Make sure I don't leave with it. Uh, it does look like there are some roguelike elements, you know, oh, obviously you start over progress. Yeah, you can grab that if you want. Another soul, too. Uh, we do have uh, skills and equipment that we can pick up. Whoops. Okay, justice for all. Uh, so that is a skill rune that we just picked up. Neat. They are temporary, uh, but they will upgrade things. So for me, primary attack damage is divided among targets. Which actually probably is better on you. Now, what is this? Did I get a soul out of her? Yeah. Yeah, so it oh, looks like there's, people. there's a lot of people that we can... Well, they weren't using them. Well, that's the one thing. When souls are resources in okay. a game or something, you always... Pyroblade. What is this? That is... That's the skill modification thing. Press B. See what it does. Okay. I can't see. So it might be for me it. only. Yeah. Try picking up Justice for All. No. Are you pressing B? Yeah, B. Oh, weird. Okay, so Pyro Blade probably. It adds could be fire. a thing where the primary player is the only one, or something. I think it's based on maybe color. Uh, maybe so, class. Yeah. So, I was kind of hoping runes would affect both of us differently. Get out of here, goblin! <laughs> Just one spider. Okay. The camera system works pretty well in this game. It, this actually reminds me of Whoa. kind of like if you turned old school. Whoa, shadow beings. Yeah, what watch is it. That? So when these guys die, they create. Uh... They create a null field. Okay, I desperately need some health if I can get it. All right. Ah. There's more guys. Yeah, well, you've got more health than I do. Okay. See that mage guy in the back? Yep. See if you can Critical. kill him. Oh, no, Whoa, he's no. killing you. Oh, I didn't. That, like, erupted oh, under me. Okay, and I so do I, I function as kind of the main character. Yeah. Uh, so if I go down, we both go down. If you go down, I can pick you back up. Okay, so that means I'm expendable. Yep, you are. Have fun. Uh... Hey, it's... I mean, that's better than uh, us both... Oh, can you shoot him? Yep. If I can, that's the problem with this aiming system. There we go. Takes a little bit of getting used to. But yeah, don't stand in the weird void void stuff. Because it uh, destroys us yep. real fast. Uh, Contact damage. Now you have contact damage. Huh, nice. Yeah, so that's that's a very roguelikey thing to give us kind of like a little passive perk. Now we I have. I think that's only for me, but that's fine. I don't know if we've acquired any of the herbs yet, have we? No, we haven't found any herbs. I, we still have a fair ways to go on this floor before we go down. Ooh, health. Health. Yes. Yeah, that's we why need. you have to check all the pottery. All of these. Okay, that's for you. Press, press B. Yep. Uh, no? Really? Well, that's... Man! Shield can stun enemies. <laughs> you just... You get nothing. No soup for you. Oh. Whoa. Evil mage 
ghost things. Is this yep. someone or something? Nope. No, those are just corpses or something. Yeah, corpses. So it looks like if we take too long, it starts spawning enemies where we've Again. been. Luckily, they tend to drop uh, extra stuff for us. We just got like more health. health. Yeah. Yep. So I can't really compl complain. Also, it gives us the EXP. Like, so what if we have bonus enemies coming for us? Okay, I got the spiders. More spiders. Ooh, what's this? Is that one of the resources? I don't know what this is. Yeah. Vital to any concoction for purposes of healing. It is naturally poisonous. But any skilled brewmaker can extract the important part without harm. Okay, Was so that called the generic mushroom? The generis mushroom. But if you noticed, it said yeah. generic, and yep. then it said generis. Okay, I think we've been through everything. Whoa! Yeah, you can shoot them while they're spawning in, by the way. Yep. Uh, let's see, if I press this... Nope. I think we went up, right? Yeah, we've already been up. Have we been all the way? Yeah, we've been all well, the way. Well, we haven't gone down into the inner tunnels. Also, there's still Yeah, so it's, here. it's time to go down floors. Might as well do. Probably get crushed, we'll see. Would you not typically go down to the second levels? Uh, no, you go well, down. You go down when it's uh time to go down. Oh, good. More of those ranged guys. Grab the money, by the way. It's the schmutz. Okay, this way, this way, th this okay. way. There's a there's a caster down here. There he is. Oop, oop. Yep. Just watch out. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts way too much. Yeah, we're low on health. Any health uh, stones? Let's see. Nope. Well, oh well. I mean, if we lose, we lose. At least we'll make it down to the next level, at least. Oh, spikes. Other way. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what's down here. Oh, there's a thing back there. There's a little ball. Oh, well. Oh, there's a lootable satchel thing that we missed. Satchel? Oh, well. What's this? Just a ruin? Yeah visual thing. Oh, corpses. Big spider. Don't know if I've seen such a large oh, spider. Oh, man, you poison. Oh, no. Why well, I'm not dead yet. Why don't you hold back? I can try to get some more of these. Oh, no, I died. Never mind. Yeah, the problem is your character doesn't ha doesn't stun lock enemies. Mm-hmm. Get, get the little guy and hope that you get a... Oh, yeah, he just casts yeah. a circle. No oh. health. I'm surprised. Yep. Don't want to get flanked. Yep. Oh, oh I... and there's a big... Um, yeah, I don't want to do a lot of things. Tentacle-headed guy. Why does it seem that these initial no, mobs no, don't give no. health, but previous mobs do? Like, new mobs, I should- or old mobs. Okay, there's one. Ah, yeah. I got some health. Oh. Then I want to revive you, but you. there's- yeah, there's danger everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up. Yay! Alright, there's, there's archers- yeah, there's an archer down there. Oh. Can you shoot him? Thank you. Oh, good. There's no spikes down here. Oh, watch out. This guy. Yep. I was just trying to get the health. All right. We took out the shaman. Ooh, big guy. Oh, it's like an ogre. Orc. Yep. Ow. Ugh. And he dropped something. Shoving strike. Push back to primary attack. Uh, there's a spike yeah, trap. Yeah, we'll leave that alone for a second. Now, what's this? Don't know. Obelisk is locked. We got to get the tree of Rhea first. Oh. Uh. Okay. Watch out for the gravity trap. Yep. Because that has spikes in it as well. Dang it! It's poison. Oh, and I. Oh! You know what? Oh, we must, so we have, must have just have died sim simultaneously, so that helps. Has Shell gotten anything? Nope. Yeah, I haven't gotten any upgrades. It's weird. None of them apply to me. No soup for you! <gasps> oh, we got nukes. <laughs> By what? That flaming guy? Yeah, he's a champion type enemy, so he uh, fireballed us. 